Now you watch any of my gun reviews and you know I love optics, especially red dots. Now you rarely see me shoot anything other than pistols um, with iron sights. Now don't get the wrong idea, I love iron sights. You know, I started deer hunting with my M1 Garand and took deer out to 300 yards with, with iron sights without difficulty, okay? That was a long time ago. Um, now I have difficulty seeing the sights, um, but I still like to have them, especially for backups. You know, primary or secondary, you can't beat the KISS. Keep it simple, stupid, and reliability of good iron sights, even with bad vision and aging vision. Now, when it comes to iron sights, Magpul um, and their MBUS literally pop up in most people's minds, and for good reason. They are quality, reliable, and they're time-tested, guys. Now let's just check out the MBUS and the MBUS Pro offsets, okay? Because I really like the offsets for when we're using optic scopes and especially in hunting situations and see what we can do with them and how, how they perform. Will they live up to their reputation? Only one way to find out. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, there's a lot of options out there for iron sights. Um, there's definitely some real deals to be found for the budget-minded. Now, more often than not, you're going to get what you pay for. So, for many, the reputation of Magpul is worth a few extra coin. Now, let's just take a look at the basic MBUS first and go from there. Now, I do see Magpul has the MBUS 3 coming out, and it looks like it's a combination of the two that we're reviewing today. I hope to get a pair of those to review later on. So I'm working on a review for PSA for their MOE Plus, the EPT pistol lower with a Maxim PDW brace and a 10 and a half inch carbine 5.56 lightweight M-lock upper with the MBUS sights and they were included. And this was something I sent out on my crazy stupid deals. The two are actually individual, but it is a match made in heaven. You'll have to see and decide for yourself. Okay, so it came with the MBUS. Let's check them out. Okay, now one thing that I actually don't like about the MBUS is the mounting, okay, there is no piece that comes off the back. It has to be slid on and off, okay? So we have no piece that detaches, so you can't just put it on. So if you have something either in the front or in the back, this has to be slid on. Now, some people like that. Some people, it does make it more solid more secure. I personally don't like that because I just don't. Um, but anyway, it is what it is and you decide whether you like that or not, but just know that you're not going to be able to take it on and off other than sliding on this end of the rail or the other end of the rail. Okay, so I got the Magpul sights on here and we're just doing a 50 yard zero because I wanna see what I can do with this essentially out of the box. Now I am seasoning the barrel and I'm seasoning the barrel as I'm getting these zeroed. So really that's out of the box. Um, with the 50 yard battle sight, then I wanna see 
reach up over on that hill and see how far I'm hoping uh, we can just bang away at 300 yards anyway getting some great groups here this is dialing right in I'm really liking these sights okay I think I got a pretty effective battle zero 50 yards here let's just see what we can do at 200 really do like that front sight post it's really narrow and even at 200 yards my full-size IDPA the front sight still fits within the the boundaries of the IDPA I, I like that a lot of times front sight posts are too fat and that just that really makes anything at distance almost impossible let's try 300 okay we'll give it a go the, the Honestly, the, the iron sights are blurry for me, uh, which is why I, I use a lot of red dots. I missed on the last one okay this is the last five uh, I'm gonna see how fast I can get these five off hey folks are you enjoying this review if you are help support the channel hit that subscribe button this helps more than just about anything it's simple quick costs you nothing not a zip zero nothing so hit that button keep the reviews coming now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deals subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them it costs you nothing unsubscribe at any time i have saved folks hundreds even thousands of dollars don't take my word read the comments it works it's awesome and it costs nothing if you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. And check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Okay, so the M bus, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's what most of us expected. Um, now I'm going to cover the M bus Pro offsets. And I use these on a review that I just did for Ruger's new SFAR 308. Uh, it's pretty awesome. You got to check it out. Anyway, let's check these out and see what you think and will they fit our needs. Now, uh, like I'm going to talk about in this review, I think Ruger kind of designed this or, uh, you know, MSR. And really kind of think in the hunting so I've got the scope here okay and that's great for distance but what I have had is I've been looking out over a distance like in one of my tower blinds and I'm thinking a deer is gonna pop out 250 yards out I've got this baby dialed all the way up max and I'm waiting and I'm calling and I look down and he's right below me by the time I get stuff cranked around, he's gone. If I'd had some flip up iron sights ready to go, I could have just looked down, boom, and taken the shot, no problem. Let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech on these, and then uh, let's do some shooting and see what all we can do with this.
Okay, so one thing that I do really like about these is we can take these on and off the rails at any point because the screw comes in the side and this moves out. Let me show you. Okay, so when we're at 50 yards here, this is kind of the sight picture that we're getting. And that's not too bad. That's pretty quick target acquisition. And we'll test this. Well, once we get her zeroed, we'll take her back to the CQB range and uh, you know see what we can do for quick transitioning. This gun definitely likes the Hornady. Um, was kind of having some difficulty dialing in with the iron sights and I switched over to the Hornady and boom, check this out. Okay, so I sight in, you know, I started over here or actually I started down here and I moved up and, and then it kind of came over and I got over to here it just, it wasn't feeling right, so I switched back to the Hornady, <laughs> and there you go. I mean, 50 yards with, with iron sights, yeah, that, that's not too bad. What I want to do now is, is we've got the battle zero, battlefield zero. Let's see what we can do then at 100, 200, and 300 with the iron sights. You know, one of the things that I like about these offset sights, aside from the high quality is they just fold down completely out of the way. Okay, we can even use our quick detach point here. I don't think with too much hang up. If, if you know, we did have any issues, we could move this back a little bit. But, yeah, these rock. Um, let's see what we can do with Battlefield Zero at two and 300. Okay, so it's got that national match front sight post, which is really thin. And that's awesome because it makes aiming at distance 200 and 300 really easy to do. Let's uh, see what we can do here. That's easy at 200. So if something went wrong with the scope, you know, we can still reach out at some distance. Let's try three here. And thank goodness that post is really small. Nice. Okay, six for six. There you go, guys. Uh, we, we could eat up ammo. Easy three shots at 200 and an, an easy three shots at 300. Battlefield zero. Pop-up. Iron sights. Um, we will take them back to the CQB range and see how fast. We'll flip this down and see how fast we can transition at close quarters. So what I want to show now is the offset iron sights. Yep. It worked really well. That did exactly what it was supposed to do. Anyway, there you go, guys. There's the offset sights. It is what it is. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. Found it helpful? If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button you know, right here. Okay, Hit that subscribe button, guys. It really does help. Be sure to like and comment. I do read comments. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. For that matter, educate anybody and everybody to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're out on the range, every time we're doing some shooting, you, me, 
We're ambassadors for the Second Amendment, so be a safe and responsible gun owner. Thank you.